Have you ever felt the pain of being stuck between two decisions? Maybe it was, you've been on two dates, you like one person, you're not sure about the other person, so which one do you end up going with? Or maybe it was two jobs, and you're not sure which one to take based on the benefits, and how much you like it, and how much they pay you. Or maybe it's just where to move. Do I move to New York, or San Francisco, or LA, or Berlin? Well, in this video, I want to share a very useful framework I've used to come up with and to solve very difficult, tough life decisions like this. What's up you guys, Alex Hine. Now before we jump into this video, check out the first link right below the video, which is for a free journaling worksheet. If you're trying to figure out how to get your life together and how to plan out an epic life going forward, that free journaling worksheet can help you do just that. So check it out right below this video. So when you look at the way most people live, it's usually out of fear, right? When you look at the way people choose and keep their jobs or choose and keep the people they date or the people they marry or choose where to live, it's usually out of fear. You know, I ask people why they have the job that they have and it's very uncommon for people to say, I do it because I actually want to do it or I find it interesting. It's usually something along the lines of good benefits and they pay me well and it's a pretty good job. You know, I hear that word all the time or that phrase, it's a pretty good job. But then you also see, you know, people as they inch towards 30 or 35 even, especially the female friends that I have, and you see the kind of people that they're with. And sometimes it makes you wonder if they actually like the people or if they're really just with them because they're afraid of being alone or they're afraid of getting to be 35, 37 and then being single and not being able to have kids. And when you look at the way people honestly live their lives, the way we human beings choose to live, is it really ever out of doing what you really want to be doing? Or is it mostly out of playing it safe due to fear? So when I say most of us live our lives based on fear, what I mean is that we base our decisions typically on going away from something, right? So we get that good job because we want to go away from the fear of financial scarcity and poverty, right? We date the person that we're kind of eh about because we know they're not going to leave us. But if you do the opposite, something interesting happens in life. If you make a decision based on going towards something because you're drawn to it, not only does it subjectively feel completely different, it produces a completely different life. And that's what is really interesting to know. So I want to pose this question, which is what if you made decisions based on going towards something? If you decided that you were going to move to that place because it was moving closer to a goal or to a place you wanted to be, or if you decided to take that job, because that job was really the thing that excited you and drew you the most. What if you made all your decisions regarding the perspective of always going towards something, a move towards something, a job moving in a certain direction, or a dream that excites you rather than a safer dream because you're afraid of failing? So what if you chose to live the way you wanted based on what inspired you, not based on what you were afraid of? And that is the framework I want to introduce here. So this framework is really to always move towards something and not away from something. You know, I had a lot of experience being a digital nomad and living all over the world. And most often there's a joke about people you see that are long-term digital nomads. You know, the hippie backpacker in Thailand that's there when they're still 45. And the joke is that they're usually running away from something. Almost always you hear uh, illness, uh, divorce, relationship gone bad, parents disowned them. There's, there's always this running away from something. And so regardless of how much they try to convince you that it's a cool, amazing thing to live in Thailand, you always can sense a kind of melancholy or a kind of fear that has dictated the person's actions. And in my experience, that usually doesn't produce a pretty incredible life. It usually leads to a life that gets smaller and smaller and smaller because you're always on the run. So what would your life be like if you chose to make decisions out of what excited you and drew you. So whenever people hired me for coaching, I always said, of those two decisions, which one excites you and is moving closer to a dream or something where you're growing and getting better? That's usually the right decision because even if it doesn't work out, you're always gonna be in a better position afterwards. All right, you guys, that's what I have for today. Before you go, comment down there below. Let me know for you, you know, maybe you've been playing it safe in some part of your life, but I wanna know if you made a decision going towards something, what would that thing be? Just comment right there, right below this video. And then I have two other related videos for you right over here.